Hello, and welcome to a Friday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It is currently 9.59pm on Thursday, August 26th in New York City, meaning one minute until the Friday crosswords, and hopefully today, no technical difficulties, that's my hope. Alright, I have yesterday's leaderboard where PB Geckner took a rare first place. So big shout out to you, PB Geckner. Proud of you. Uh, I came in second, then we had the Glorp, so again, the old standbys. Then we had Cape God, Phil quite fast, Stickers, Gordo AM, Andrew, Taratuna, Orioana, E. Errol, Kefa Spenta, Joe Obi, J. Wu, all under 30 seconds. We have Herman Chow, fresh off a uh, second place on a puzzle hunt recently. Uh, Bill Boris, Hoopla, TR, Ball Don't Lie, Justin, Mer Unicorn, Aero Tangos, Rice Hornet, J. J, you're always under a minute these days. Lydian, MH17, Chenny, Lil Sun, ABC104, A plus B, Panda Doggy, Maria, Namgo, and the Duke Priest. Very nice stuff. I didn't think yesterday's was all that easy. Anyway, it is now 10 o'clock in New York City, meaning one minute meaning we should have some Friday crosswords. So here is a spoiler alert for the Friday mini. If you would like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Uh, the Friday mini, the mini is always free to play. And this one is, no, it's just the normal. Ah, the, it's interesting. It has two letter words, right? One down and nine down, which, is, which isn't allowed on the daily grid. And I don't think I've ever seen on the mini. So that's interesting. Well, without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, at O, uh, please, uh, Shay, uh, score, O, me, please, and Abe. Yeah, we have Ho. Home and home and me twice. So is this supposed to be home and home? Hmm. This is supposed to be something like some kind of a theme, but I don't. I don't really get it. Huh. Army should have gotten that. I was thinking it'd be like unit, you know, or um brigade or platoon or something interesting very interesting i don't i don't really get it let me know what i'm missing in the comments down below anyway now for the main event that's the friday daily grid which is by robin weintraub today one of my favorite themeless constructors the last time i said that uh amy and chris beat me and then taunted me so <laughs> yeah i remember last time it didn't go super fast but it was very enjoyable so i've always found robin weintraub's puzzles to be quite enjoyable Hopefully this one is as well. We are centered, we're recording. Let's get into it. Who takes a licking and keeps on sticking? Ink containers. We sacks, maybe. This is Isle. Middle child on ABC Modern Family. Uh, Alex, Alex Dunphy. Hookups for a camera. Supermarket section. And the only remaining wonder of the ancient world for one. Is it a pyramid? Or is that close? Stuck up. Could be Coda, stuck up couples at wedding. I mean, that mo makes moving walkways. Otis, first word in a classic song from Son of Music. Do a deer. Hey, I'm talking to you. Scores a ton. Sandpaper specification is grit, crosses a line. Don't be misled by this. Kind of circle. Resident of Nintendo's Mushroom Kingdom. I guess it's Toad. Greek goddess who could turn water into wine. Choreographer is Alvin Ailey. This is Stamp. Stargazers need clear skies. Chef Lewis, not sure, but this is, um, whoops, meat. Sex tapes, run from here to there. And stuck a couple of weddings. Cake poppers, that's nice. Answer me here, over the hill with up. Uh, not sure, it's something you might flip over, or flip over a mat? Uh, not sure. Oh, that could be span, I guess. Look and follow plus or minus. Rock on the edge. Teeter? This could be like a, as a verb. Kind of circle. Inner circle. Don't be misled by this. 
it's not Juno. Juno's Roman, right? Uh, right. Not just in one's head. Allowed. It's calculated relative to the speed of sound. So, mock. So in Italian and follow. Ingredient in skincare alice. Aloe. View from the Oval Office. Tourists reading. You might get a date from it. Mm, palm? A date palm, yeah. Brain power. Helikinesis, maybe. Objects of stargazers' gazes. Uh, turnovers, e.g. Be stat, like in basketball. So in Italian, is it cosy? Be cosy. Shopping spree. Ludicrous display. Mandate. Follow. Heed. Guide. Books, maybe? You know, measure in a tongue twister. Peck, like a peck of pickled peppers. A farce? Margin of error here. That's nice, too. Rose garden. Okay. We could, this could be bake. Make a turnover. As long as we're on the subject. Daniel and the Lions and Painter 1615. A new beginning? Question mark. Maybe Neo? Bowler material. Felt like a bowler hat? Applies a salve to. Fundamental particles. Uh, not sure. This is Fen? Or Bog? I want this to be like, you know, Baryons or something. Sings to the rafters. Preface to sharing one's POV. Uh, uh, this is going to be in my humble opinion. I am HO. Hmm, really? Vegetable related to garlic is leek. Bread whose name this is roti. Take the bait. Bite. It's bellows. Chemistry lab compound. Maybe ester. Name that has left right symmetry. Blank ID. And civil offense. Is it tort? It could still be like ester. Certain tax write off. And Frisco candy based. Oh, this is C's. My mom used to get C's candy from my sister. Told well, that makes the sound scritch, scratch, scratch, scratch in the tail of Peter Rabbit. Ho, I guess. Logos on the Little League uniforms. Sponsors. Uh, Rubens, I guess. This is Fen, huh? Uh, before I forget. Rose bushes. Um, send an invoice to Bill. Bozons here. Romeo and loss. Missing funds. Crosses a line. Goes too far. Uh, I don't know this. Is it O E N O? Edna Lewis? Red herring. That's nice. Sanka here. Applies itself to soothes. This is washed up. Belts it. Um. Oh, is that so? That's not belts it. <laughs> belts out. That's better. because This is going to be auto. User ID. Short and sash. Very nice. This feels very Robin Weintraub-y. Not so much like little junk. Some fun long answers. And uh... Yeah, nothing super obscure. And some good amount of, um, some wordplay and stuff. But maybe a bit on the easy side today, compared to some Fridays. What takes a lickin' and keeps on sticking. That's a, uh, that's a reference to something, right? That's a reference to what takes a lickin' and keeps on ticking. Which is... The Timex, or was the Timex slogan? Yeah. But repurposed here with sticking to clue stamp kind of nicely. Bars that close. A little bit of a misdirect, right? Coda there. Alan Ailey. There's like three. Alvin Ailey. There's three choreographers I can name. <laughs> it's just Alvin Ailey, Bob Fosse. Is it Bob Fosse? Oh gosh. 
It is Bob Fosse. Okay, and then Twyla Tharp. And that's about it. Yeah, this is a prefix meaning wine. I didn't realize there's a Greek goddess. I don't know how to pronounce it either. I would say Ono, but... Like an Onophile is someone who loves wine. But I didn't know there's a Greek goddess. Clear skies is nice. That's... That's a racy bell and clue. Yeah, a little bit of misdirect. Margin of error is nice. This is definitely a misdirect as well. A date palm tree. Fiat. Sanka. I didn't realize that that's where the name came from. Sanka is a brand of instant decaffeinated coffee, but that's a that's a cool fact to know. For sans caffeine, presumably. I don't think I've ever had a Sanka, but fair enough. Before I forget, it's nice as well. Bosons. Yeah, it's all very much in the language. Like I said, my sister, when she came home from college to bring home C's candy, so I remember eating it as a child. But maybe you Bay Area folks can let me know what you think of C's candy. Yeah, that's a very modern family clue. Cake toppers. It's a nice fill and, and pretty, pretty reasonably nice clue as well. Goes too far in red. I really like red herring here. So yeah, span. Like if you span a chasm from here to there by a bridge, say. Telekinesis is pretty flashy as well. I'm not as excited about rose bushes and guidebooks, but they're certainly solid. <laughs> they're not um, obscure. I, I like this semi misdirect here, right? Where, the, where she's using turnover in subsequent clues, but one meaning like an apple turnover and one meaning like a turnover in baseball. Sorry, in basketball. Um, fen. Yeah, there's two three letter words that basically mean marshy area, and they're fen and bog. It's interesting that in the grid it actually has um, like top bottom symmetry, but yeah, you know, very clean. Some fun stuff in the in the long fill. Some nice cluing. R very fun, very fun Robin Wine Travy puzzle. So that's nice. It's gonna be pretty quick. Less than forty seconds off my best, which is pretty quick for a Friday. And the leaderboard for tomorrow? Do we have anyone? We have PB Geckner trying and failing to beat me two days in a row. That's all right. You'll get there someday, buddy. <laughs> Just playing PB Geckner. And we have Hoopla and Andrew Cowboy Hat Emoji on the board early as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you tomorrow for some Saturday puzzles. See you then.